I need to avoid the silence. That's when I hear them. The whispers. A dozen or so all around me. They're not just in my head. They can't be. They started last month. I first heard them one night when I was home alone lying in my bed. They were so quiet and faint that they would be drowned out by even the slightest rustle of leaves from a breeze in the night. But, in complete and utter silence, I could hear them. They were asking me to go outside to the road. It was difficult not to obey them. Imagine there were ten or so people all around you, whispering instructions, all speaking at the same time. First, I tried to drown them out by turning on the television while I slept, but the whispering only grew louder. I couldn't escape them. They would follow me room to room. They started telling me what I needed to do to silence them, and I eventually gave in. I opened my front door and walked out to the street. Nothing happened at first. Then, the voices changed what they were saying. Just then, a car squealed around the corner, driving at a ridiculous speed. It lost control, nicked the side of a tree, and began rolling. The voices went silent. I later learned that the driver was sober, but didn't have his seatbelt on. He died in the accident, and based on what he had said to his family members beforehand, it was ruled a suicide. Did the voices orchestrate this event? Or did they just want me to watch it? Or was it simply a coincidence? I wasn't sure at the time, but I didn't hear them again for weeks. When they came back, they would sometimes explain themselves to me. I am among the first who can hear them, they told me. But there will be many more. I set up a tape recorder to try and capture these voices to prove that I'm not crazy. Most of you probably won't be able to hear them, but some of you will. And if you can hear them, then they will start following you too. And there will be nothing you can do to escape them, except only to do whatever they say. Two weeks ago, the voices returned and started asking me to go to a specific address downtown and to stand by a building. They told me to wait there, until it happened. This was actually the first time I tried to record them. If you're one of the few people who can hear the whispering, the voices will come back. They won't always be there. They come and go. But they always come back. Even when I listen to this file, I can sometimes hear them, and sometimes not. I once again tried ignoring them at first, but they once again grew louder. They became more intense. I could no longer stand up to them. I started to give in. I headed to the address downtown. When I arrived, I looked above and saw a man standing about 30 stories up. There were other people arriving and looking towards him. Had they heard the whispering as well? The voices grew louder.
The man jumped. The voices went silent. I should be clear at this point that I'm certain these voices aren't just in my head. First of all, there is the coincidence that both times the voices led me to a suicide, but there's also the fact that I can sometimes drown them out with loud noises or earplugs. If the voices were in my head, wouldn't earplugs make the voices louder? No, I fully believe that there are voices whispering to me from the outside. And three days ago, they came back. This time, they told me to go to a subway station. When I arrived at the station, I immediately saw a group of 20 people who suspiciously huddled together near the track. I joined them. I heard one of the trains approaching the terminal. At that point, a man emerged from the group, holding his hands up to his ears. I need them to stop, the man shouted. He then jumped into the arriving train and pretty much disintegrated. The group around me didn't even seem phased by it and started walking away. I stopped them. You can all hear them too, can't you? I asked. Some looked at me and appeared as though they might answer. But then they held their own ears and looked away and continued walking. Did the voices speak to them and tell them to leave? I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure about so much anymore. Where do the voices come from? What do they want? They tell me things, but will never answer my questions. I've decided to write this out and document what I hear. Maybe I am just mentally ill, and what I recorded is just silence. Oh, how I wish that's all it is. It would be such a relief if this were all just in my head. The voices came back today and gave me a new location. I recorded them again when I started hearing them. They're getting louder and I can't escape them any longer. They're telling me now that there's only one way to silence them forever. Otherwise, they'll never free me. I belong to them. I can be with them. Their whispering is so maddening. But it's also soothing. Oh, so soothing. Maybe I can whisper too. Maybe one day, I'll be among the voices all of you out there hear when you're all alone. Maybe the voices are leading us all to a better place. And I'll meet you all there one day. In peace. In tranquility. In silence. And if you do hear the whispers, maybe you'll see me at that location they speak of. It's an infamous location for what I'm about to do. Maybe I'll even wave before it happens. But the voices will follow you. Until it is your time. You'll start by avoiding the silence. That's when the whispers get louder. Dozens of them. All around you. <laughs>